All them long and lonely nights I put you through Somewhere in the sure I made you cry You can't remember if we said All of them lights down in Mexico There's one place I may never go In my life Was I off somewhere Maybe just too high Can't remember if we said goodbye. Here and now, man. Like a soft breeze blowing up from the Caribbean. Those November's, I'll break down. But I recall all of the nights down in Mexico. That's one place I'll never go in my life. Was I off somewhere? Maybe just too. Can't remember if we said goodbye. Can't remember if we said. Hey, sports fans, thanks for stopping by for a quick lesson on how to play Goodbye by Steve Earle on the harmonica and the guitar. Uh, this was a song that came out in the mid-90s or so on an album called Train A Comin'. I don't have vinyl for Train A Comin', but I like to hold up vinyl uh, <laughs> when I have it. So this was a promotional uh, disc that came out in the mid-80s. This was in support of Guitar Town. Uh, I was working at a radio station at the time, uh, but I thought this promotional EP belonged at my house rather than <laughs> at the radio station. It's got three songs on it, Someday, Fearless Heart, and Good Old Boy uh, by Steve Earle. So, uh, Mr. Earle, thank you for sending me that back in the day. I appreciate it. Like I said, I don't have uh, vinyl for... Um, for Goodbye or for the album Train It Coming. It's a song that features some beautiful uh, finger picking and you'll find lots of nice versions on uh, YouTube, particularly where Emmylou Harris is uh, singing harmonies with uh, Mr. Earl. Uh, they sound just, just fabulous. What I try to do when I'm playing it uh, with the harmonica is to 
uh, simulate, I guess, reproduce to the extent possible some of the little uh, finger-picking flourishes that um, Steve Earle does. So uh, if you are going to be finger-picking it, again, there's lots of great lessons for that on the YouTube from uh, folks who finger-pick a whole lot better than I do. Uh, but I play it with, uh, as uh, Steve Earle does, with G shapes. It's in the key of C, and it's in first position, by the way, so we're going to be playing it on a harmonica, on a, a C harmonica. However, put a capo at the fifth fret, and it allows you to use G uh, shapes. All right, so G, D, C, all the normal chords and an E minor there uh, used when you're in the key of G, but with the capo there you are magically playing in uh, the key of C, but um, because of the all those nice open strings in a G chord, if you play it in a way that allows you to keep your index finger free, you can do a lot of the, the little fills and flourishes that, uh, that Steve Earle does. So, uh, for instance, a G chord, you would put your ring finger on that bottom string at the third fret relative to the capo, your middle finger on the B string at the second fret, and then use your pinky to get that, uh, that highest string at the third fret. So that's like a G chord, right? But uh, because of the capo, it's actually a C, of course. But you'll notice the index finger stays free so you can do things. So he does a lot of those. That one's kind of a, a combination pinch with a hammer down at the um, on the uh, B string first fret. When he plays the D chord, again the he just plays a partial D. So um, you would get the the G string there at the second fret with your. Uh, ring finger and then use your middle finger to get the bottom that would be equivalent to an F sharp if there was no um, capo here and you were playing down at the nut right use your middle finger for that so again um, you've got your free index finger so you can do lots of those little uh, fills and whatnot all right so like I said when I play the harmonica I try to uh, mimic those kinds of um, sounds and use, use a lot of, of the same notes. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to put the notes up in the Picto tab, where a red means draw and a blue means blow. All right, blue for blow. My harmonica's over there. I'm going to go get it. All right, I found my harmonica, and now we're ready to go. I'm going to start by showing you the chords that I use uh, first under a solo that comes in the middle of the song. Put all the notes up in the picto tab. And then I'll uh, back up and show you the intro. The intro just basically uses the first part of the solo, so that's why I'm gonna do it in that order. And then there's one or two little fills um, that I can uh, make more explicit for you uh, as well and put those up in the picto tab too. The chords are uh, easy. They're gonna be familiar uh, to you. There's a G. Capo is at the fifth fret here, so it's actually a C, but you know what I mean. Uh, so there's the G. I do like to play it the same way with um, the, the pinky down there at the bottom, keeping my index finger free so that I can hit that C, which is the fourth. So that would be a G chord with a suspended fourth, I imagine. Your musical types will tell you that. When I go to the D next, I like to hook my thumb over and hit what would be an F sharp if we were playing at the end of the nut instead of with the capo, right? D chord normally down there on the bottom. There's an E minor, like a south breeze and a C, blowing up from the Caribbean, all right? That's all the chords in this uh, solo. I think that's all the chords in the whole song, my goodness. All right, fairly easy one. And I'm, I try to, as I mentioned, to mimic uh, some of what Steve Earle does with his uh, very beautiful finger picking um, on the harmonica. 
Because that's what we do at Sly Wagon Lessons. We're all about uh, playing the harmonica. And I'm a single noter. Uh, actually, on Goodbye, uh, Steve Earle does play uh, some harmonica. But uh, he's because he's doing the fancy finger picking and everything, he uh, plays chords uh, for the most part, does some comping on the, uh, the harmonica, and it does sound uh, really nice. But uh, we're going to do some single notes here that to pick up on the melody and some of those um, fills from the finger picking, all right? I'll play it slow, put everything up in the picto tab. Alright, so that's how I play that solo in the middle of Goodbye. The intro is uh, very similar, starts out the same actually, but um, there's no E minor, uh, it skips that part. In the intro, it just goes to the C. So the G, the D, the C, uh, the D, and the uh, back to the G. Alright, and then you're into uh, the first verse. Alright, let me show you how I uh, do that one. So that's the intro. You saw that in the uh, in the picto tab, and then you get into that first verse. So in the verses, you throw in some um, little licks on the harmonica as well, if you want. Of course, all of this you don't have to do. <laughs> so uh, just to back up a little bit, it goes like, I remember holding on to you. There, I would do this. the next line all them long and lonely nights I put you through there's a good spot for one of those uh, suspended fourths on your G chord just use your index finger on the B string at that first fret right next to the uh, cable Right? So the other little fill that I wanted to show you is one that I uh, tend to throw in at the end of the bridge. I'll put it up in the picto tap here. It would go like this. But I recall all of them nights down in Mexico. That's one place I'll never go. Off somewhere, maybe just too high. All right, like that. Just a little three note thing that you can throw in as you're coming back down from the bridge, but before the uh, kind of haunting line about uh, being off somewhere or maybe just too high. It's, uh, it is a hauntingly uh, beautiful song about uh, Mr. Earl's inner demons, I think. Um, and he's kind of opening up and, and sharing that with us, which is uh, great, and it's a fabulous song, and it's been covered by a whole lot of people, including Emmylou Harris. Uh, she does a, a great version. So I hope you will enjoy uh, learning how to play a bit of harmonica 
adding it to uh, Goodbye by Steve Earle. Thanks for joining us on Sly Wagon Lessons, and I uh, hope to see you again, all right? Take care. Thank you.